you hear that? Yeah. You know what that noise means? It means we're the first fucking podcast for the metaverse. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's so funny that just playing sounds and <laughs> we're entering the metaverse. Okay, guys, join us. Expand. Enhance. Log in. Password big titties. 69. Access granted. We're in. We're coming on a journey. Everyone's following us. We're coming on a journey to the first podcast in the metaverse. Nick, what is your character? Nick, pretend we just spawned in in the metaverse. What's your character look like? What am I looking at right now? I am. What's your avatar? Um, I'm Darth Kermit. Darth Kermit, sick, dude. That's a nice, that's a pretty cool NFT. Um, I assume it's an NFT that you have on. Uh, <laughs> I'm a, of course, I'm a big Shrek with a big dong, as always. And we're just on stage in the metaverse, um, sitting here on land that was, I mean, First, we gotta acknowledge that the land was once inhabited by the indigenous people of the metaverse, the first travelers of the metaverse. Um, sorry, once again, we have stolen your land in a again. video game. In again, a, in, again in a video game. <laughs> imagine, <laughs> imagine how unlucky. The repeats itself. <laughs> imagine how unlucky. Like instead of building, instead of like owning casinos or something, they invested into like cryptocurrency. And they just built the metaverse, and they're like, "Finally, we got some land." And then, and then Gary V comes in and starts buying all <laughs> their land. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's 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 hor that's horrible, but funny. And it's like they they do another trail of like eight the eight bit trail of tears or something, and it's like it's like horrible. It's like the westward expansion. That you know, sounds you can, awful. You know, you can buy land. Like I like IRL money, but buy fake land, right? It's um, it's actually crazy. But um, the reason we're in the metaverse is because on our next podcast, oh, dude, you, you know, know that up? game? Which game? Decentraland. The fucking nerd one, like the spaceship game. Eve, Eva, Eve Evolution no, or whatever. Wait, it's what? like I think it's it's not Star Citizen, is it? Oh, Star Citizen. Yeah, I know. I'm that pretty one. sure the ships in that game cost like fifty thousand dollars or yeah. hundred thousand. Yeah. Like no cap, real life money. Yeah, there's someone I think bought a bar in Star Citizen that cost like legit millions of dollars. <laughs> <Bye. Yeah. laughs> it, I mean, some of the stuff is actually so stupid. But okay, and I say that now. But we're about to get we're gonna get educated next week. We have a um, we're not doing it this week, but next week we should have um, one of my friends. He works at an NFT company. Um, he's like a programmer or whatever. It's called Rainbow Dot Me. They trade in NFTs using Ethereum, and he's like a wallet. It's like a wallet, so you keep your crypto in it. So we're gonna have him on the podcast next week. And I already have. I wrote down a bunch of questions because I don't understand NFTs. And quite frankly, NFTs don't understand me. We don't get along. So we're going to try to have him next week work out the situation. Um, but this week, we are just going to hop right into... I'm going to take my goggles off, to be honest. Jesus Christ. Those things are like anti... They're for like snowboarding. So I'm like blinded right now. I feel like Han Solo after he got out of Carbonite. He's like, is that you, Leia? You know, his face is all red. I don't. I've never seen Star Wars. Wait, have you really? That's from Star Wars, right? Han Solo, that's not Star Trek. <sighs> you got to be kidding, bro. You got to be kidding me, bro. That, um... They're turning George Lucas into an NFT. Just a person. Are they? No. The whole guy is just an the, NFT? Just the dude. He already sold out to Disney. Now he's going to sell out to NFTs. You'll just own. How? How? Dude, do you think there'll be NFT slavery? Like, you can own me for 
I, like I am an NFT. That's it's going to be the first big movement, and that's how they're going to disguise it. Yeah, they're, they're going to. There's going to be one person that's like, I'm making myself an NFT. It's so controversial, and then yeah, this person can... is going to. It's going to pass, and it's going to become normal. Yeah, and then we're going to start selling NFT people. Like once every. I dubs nutsack is a slave. Well, okay. Once everyone goes, once everyone goes into the metaverse, I'll sell myself as an NFT, and someone will be like, "Oh yeah, I'll hire you, I'll buy you as an NFT, and then you can just farm Bitcoin in this virtual farm with your virtual pickaxe for that nine work? hours now, a day." Does it actually like speed up GPU processing whenever you go hack at like cotton balls? Um, well, is that how you farm? Well, yes. In Decentraland, this is a an app. Um, I guess it's a website. I, I was on it a little bit. I just gambled all my money money away because there's a casino. There's an in-world casino, and I put in, like, maybe $50 of IRO money, converted it to Decentraland money, went to the Decentraland ca- casino, and just played roulette for, like, four hours until I lost it all, and then I left Decentraland and uninstalled the app. So that was my experience in the metaverse. Um, but I know that there was a part where you could walk around, you know, you move around with WASD and it's kind of like Webkins or, you know, Clash of Clans where you just walk up to a giant boulder. They come down in the form of an asteroid and you, and you click on it and then you mine it for like four seconds and then it cracks open and they're like, you earned 0.01% of a Decentraland token. And you're like, wow, that was, that was really fun. And then you do that, you know, a thousand times and you got yourself a dollar. Well, Decentraland's currently at four bucks, but I mean, who knows? But yeah, so that's that's on the agenda for next week, which is honestly our one year anniversary. So it'll be fun to have a one year anniversary with our first like real guest ever. Sorry, my brother doesn't count. Um, wow, and... <laughs> I think he counts. I mean, he probably can count. He's in college. But um, anyways, let's let's get the plugs out of the way. Nick, hit him. Patreon, Aframat Show. Uh, Patreon.com slash AFM Show if you want to support us. One dollar. One dollar. Listen, that's 25 cents a month. If you can't spare 25 cents a month, honestly, what are you doing with your life? Go to Patreon.com slash AFM Show. Put in one dollar for the month and won't kill you. It's one dollar. Right. You just said twenty five cents a month. Well, no, my bad. Twenty twenty five cents a week because there's four weeks in a month. Right. That equals a dollar. Right. Think about that. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Can you get now that? I get what you're saying. Do you get that, Nick? Yeah. Do you get that at home, viewer, listener? I don't really. I don't really care. I don't really even put anything there, so there's no real incentive. Incentive. You're a but bad maybe. salesman. Dude, look, look, listen. I'm I'm not selling. I'm begging. This is what we're doing. <laughs> we're begging. <laughs> we're not so we're not in the selling business yet. We're not we're not we're begging. We're in the beggars section. Um Instagram is Afro Matt with three T's. Nick, look oh, look who's there. That's your Instagram, not underscore nickel house. I wanted to plug you because Oh we, god, you put my Instagram? Yeah. You're getting plugged, That's big fine. boy. You get plugged now. You're going to get plugged up. You'll get all your holes <laughs> plugged. All right. And twitter.com slash real life from that. And, of course, we are going to just hop right into this raw dog style. We are going to just go right in and watch um, Hassan. Hassan, if you don't know, Nick, do you know who Hassan is? No. I mean, there's a lot of Hassans. Hassan is the probably number one political commentator on YouTube and Twitch. He is a left-leaning political figure. He has was recently known um, before he started streaming on Twitch as part of the Red Turks or something like that. I don't know if you know who they are, but his name is Hassan. And um, he got banned for saying a racial slur. So let's check this out. Um, so this is the only clip I could what find. What is he? What? what is his nationality? I don't know. Um, I think. Um, 
I don't know. I think he's he's his name's Hassan. And I don't want to make an assumption, but I'm gonna say he's probably a rab. Oh my God, saltine cracker! Like people are just bitter because it's saltine cracker. That's not what I. That's not what I said. You dumb cracker bitch. Um. So, dumb cracker bitch. So here's the news: Yahoo.news or whatever. Leftist streamer Hassan Piker says Twitch banned him for using the word cracker. So. Um, he wrote in a tweet that he was banned for the platform for saying cracker. This was big, 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 big drama. So many people came in and, you know, kind of commentated on it. People had their opinions. Um, let's see what the Twitter says. Twitter, so this this person. Hey, but if you're spending your time pleading your humanity. This person, this is, um, why is this like negative this is a negative resolution. This is a negative resolution. <laughs> it says, I'm sorry, but if you're spending your time pleading your humanity... Oh, I guess he'll read it. Let's just play the clip. Sorry, but if you're spending your time pleading your humanity to brain-poisoned crackers right now... By the way, just so you guys know, calling me... I don't... Hey, are you ready for the hottest take you're ever going to hear in your life? Even if there's no systemic oppression behind it, it's still racist to call white people crackers if you're angry at them. It still is. By definition, it is. It's not as harmful as calling people the N-word, obviously, but it's still racist. And it's a shitty thing to do. There are plenty of, like, legitimate insults you can throw my way. Just impugning me for my race? That's kind of weird. Sorry, but if you're spending your... So I'm, I think that guy probably had the best take. This is streamer named Vosh, and it was this was retweeted by streamer named Destiny, um, the omni-liberal. Um, really, honestly, a lot of people are getting mad both ways. I really just wanted to bring this up because I wanted to know what you think, Nick. Is saying cracker racist? Um, in terms of... Like, if I called you a cracker right now, you cracker, how does that make you feel? I Do you feel something? I say a lot. I mean, I say cracker. I say honky quite a bit, okay, too. I think honky is pretty funny. Honky's funnier than cracker. Cracker is like... Like, no one really likes a saltine cracker, right? A honky is funnier. I couldn't find myself calling other white folk cracker. Yeah, it's not like... Is this can't... one okay? We get the pass on it? Yeah, you can. I, I think we can call each other honky. But cracker? Cracker seems a little more... I think it's, honestly... Hateful? I think it's the ER. It's the hard R. It's the ER on the end. Try cracker. So if we don't want it, we can call each other crackers cracker oh man that just feels wrong still that, that feels, feels really wrong <laughs> cracker <laughs> yo what's up my cracker it just feels gross to yeah. say i don't know it's um but apparently yeah so hassan was streaming and a ton of his mods got banned for using the word cracker and then he got banned from Twitch for using the word cracker. He'll probably the be The mods started using it after he used it? Yeah, and then the mods started getting banned. And then he's like, well, where's all my mods? Why are my mods getting banned? And then his channel got banned, like, the next day. And he's like, okay, so now you can – now cracker – and now people are like, white people, y'all some, some snowflakes for this or something. I'm like, not a single – I I haven't been – any time anyone in my life has called me cracker. Actually, that doesn't happen that much. But it doesn't really affect me. But it's definitely not a cool thing to say to someone. Right? As an insult, it feels bad. But as like a joke, it's cool. Is that how you feel about it, Nick? Yeah, basically. If <clears throat> someone came up to me right now and in the middle of an argument and said in the most hateful way they could that I was a cracker. Yeah, I would... like you're a dumb retard cousin fucking cracker. That well, that would feel good. It wouldn't that well, it wouldn't offend good. me. Why? A cracker is just Okay. What if they said uh, honky? Like that wouldn't offend me either. Immediately when you bring race into something, it's just they said like skinhead. It's just like, "Oh, wow. No." What if they said colonizer? I would laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're right. I've, been, I've actually been called a colonizer. Have you really? Yeah. I have actually been called a colonizer, yeah. <laughs> what were you colonizing? What were you being? Uh, uh, what were you pussy, I guess. Damn. <laughs> Jesus. That's fun. That's a little fun. 
That's a little fun role There's play. A little fun role play. Yeah, I was I was Columbus. The... Columbus. I was walking around with the Columbus hat and the yeah. cape. That's a really kinky role play. Hmm. Damn. Have you never been called a colonizer? No, I don't really find myself colonizing that much. <laughs> I mean, I you don't really. I don't really invade people's area and try to change it for my own. Don't try to get my little greedy fingers up in there. Um. Mm. You know, I'm, I might I might start trying to colonize, though. I might start invading other groups and, you know, changing their language forcibly. Might steal a couple kids, teach them English. Maybe. Hey. I might fuck around and hey, teach them. It might suggest kids. that my religion is the correct one. I, I might not even suggest it. I might just show them by cutting their hands off if they don't agree. True maybe hey, burning them hey, alive i might fuck around and you know launch a couple cannonballs on a tribe that doesn't share the same belief as me that's fucked fuck. up matt yeah so anyway <laughs> so hassan <laughs> is part of a an h3 the h3 podcast called um podcast oh he's on like, h3 yeah they started a show that's like super liberal it's called um, Leftovers, right? So H three's gone. I don't know if you I know. cannot believe that he turned from what he is into I what know. he is now. So H three has gone full, completely left. So and now he's they're doubling down. So on the podcast, he created a um, a white a white. Um, Are they insult, making a tier list of slurs? A white insult slur tier list. So you have redneck, fish belly, pale face, hog. Cracker, hillbilly, hick, honky, pecker, wood, mayo, cum skin, Jesus colonizer. Christ. I see colonizer there. Pink dick, yeah. Karen, milk demon. I like that one. White devil. White devil. If someone calls you a white devil, you know you're getting in a fight, bro. That sounds kind of cool. White devil, dude. Yeah. That's what. That sounds kind. If someone called me that, it's like empowering. Is it? Yeah. Fair enough. It's empowering. Anytime anybody tries to get at you for your race, you should just feel better about it. No matter what you are. Because that person is immediately beneath you. Well. True story. So, Nick. So, say a black person comments on your race. Are they instantly beneath you? Don't answer that. Not comments. Okay, well, but if Nick, his if part of his argument is the fact that you're white, then yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, anytime anyone's If a white of... guy comes up to you and you're black and he spews the N-word, you're just like, okay, you're not worth my time. Yeah. That's how that should go. It's just a... I mean, anyone who's been to a philosophy class, a logic class, or like a critical thinking class, which I suggest everyone take at least one of those three just to like, you know, start... To, you know, just make your own brain to get your brain you know, up to snuff, right? Like, if you take one class, I suggest you take, like, literally most community college offer a critical thinking class. Take a critical thinking class, right? And which is, I mean, the I, my favorite part about my class was that my teacher, I could never tell if he was, like, left-leaning or right-leaning, and that's the sign of someone who's critically thinking, right? Because they never should land on 100% one, one side or one side. I mean, it, that's the sign of a good, good, smart individual. Um, <clears throat> that being said, um, oh, <laughs> okay, I got some NFT news. Let's see. So we were talking about the N the 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 metaverse. So I got this story. This is the metaverse. The metaverse, the metaverse has, has, a, has groping, a groping problem. A groping problem already. A woman has been sexually harassed in Meta's VR social media platform. She's not the first, and she won't be the last. So, what, so someone just walked up in VR and was like, "Got your pussy." <laughs> someone great. Someone gave Trump the, the the Oculus. Oh my God, dude! How soon is it gonna be? Is this really something you care about? Like, uh, as dudes, me? Like, oh, no, oh. I'm just saying, like, as dudes, do you know how much we do that kind of shit, on like. We're like on Fortnite when there was a hug thing oh, that looked oh, like a blowjob. Yeah, yeah. Like that shit is so funny. I can't believe people are getting offended about this. Yeah. I mean, this is, this might it's be. It's literally the best, not real. This might be the best news for the metaverse. Um, This is just so funny. So let's see. Last week, Meta, the umbrella company formerly known as Facebook, 
That's like when uh, Prince changed his name. The artist, formerly known as <laughs> Prince, Prince <laughs> opened up access to its virtual reality social media platform, Horizon Worlds. Early descriptions of the platform made it seem fun and wholesome, drawing comparisons to Minecraft. In Horizon Worlds, up to 20 avatars can get together in time at a, any time and explore, hang out, and build within the virtual space. But not everything is warm and fuzzy, except that cooch. According to Meta, <laughs> on November 26th, a beta tester report... A beta tester got gross. <laughs> it's, not even in be- it's not even out of beta. It, people are already getting molested. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to fix the problem early. A beta tester reported something tru- truly troubling. She had been groped by a stranger in Horizon. On December 1st, Meta revealed that she'd posted her experience on Horizon World's beta testing a group on Facebook. You mean on Meta? Um, Meta's internal review of the incident found that she had the beta tester should have used a tool called Safe Zone. That's part of the suite of safety fee. I just love that. So they had to have known that this was going to be an issue to implement a Safe Zone technology, you know? Just yeah. imagine that boardroom. It's like, okay, guys, what's our what are some problems we might run into with people on the metaverse? Groped. groped. She might get groped, boss. So, so you're saying that out of everything, the first thing that pops into your mind is 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 groping. You think people are going to get groped? Well, yeah. Okay. Um. So. I so, think we should. I've already thought about this. Okay. I, I think we should implement a feature to keep to keep at risk of groped at risk of being groped individuals safe and let's call it the safe zone okay okay i I like where your i like where your mind's at just um you know now people are already used to it we've got six feet apart from covid there's gonna be nothing wrong but people might feel as though they they don't have well who am i kidding we don't care about freedom here at meta okay if they're not allowed to walk up to somebody what about this what about this if you use the safe zone we'll put 90% 90% of your screen filled up with ads. That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that too. I like, I that. like that. And and while you can't what you can't see behind the ads is all of your information being sold. <laughs> it's sold. <laughs> yeah. It will track your eyes and see how long they land on each ad and your your ads will constantly be updated until your eyes literally stay exactly 1 second on every ad before you look at where you're moving. That's good. I, I, I actually like where we're moving in this, and I think that this is going to be a good future. It looks good. It sounds good. So we're putting it in? Yeah. And also, we'll make a cool little room called the grope zone. And you just, for people that do want to do that. that do want to grope. <laughs> and it's just for groping. You just I would walk. totally go to the nightclub in, like, Metaverse. Yeah. Or, like, VR like... chat. Like, if it was just, like, actually fucking booming. You know, it's fun because there's no real world consequences, right? You can actually just get drunk, but then put your headset on. Like, look, I could go in there with an AK-47, shoot it up, and there's no real world consequences. But do they implement law? There's going to be VR cops that put you in VR jail. Oh, my God. It's like you who would <laughs> get on the, get a who, job. Who you're would, a felon. Wait, who would play the game if you just like every time you go in, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm still I'm bro. still in jail. There's, there's no way you're going to be able to get a rifle into the metaverse. <laughs> Dude, Someone's gonna have to hack a back to work. Dude, remember what? Remember when um, Mark Zuckerberg said you can bring objects from the outside world in? Did he? Yeah. That's, That's exciting. Cool. Yeah, dude. You know what's actually crazy? So I watched Spider Man. So I watched the new Spider Man movie. Um, and. Um, I don't know how much do I want to spoil on this. I'll, I'll, I'll only spoil this. Is in the beginning, um, so it picks up exactly where the last one left off with Mysterio leaking the video of he's like Peter Parker is Spider Man, and then everyone's like Peter Parker, you're you're a murderer, you're you're you killed Mysterio or whatever, and it was like str- like okay so so like there's a scene when Peter Parker's being like went like going going to school and all the students are there like this and they're like half of them are like you're a murderer mysterio is right fuck you spider-man and then half of them are like you're a hero spider-man i'm like that's what kyle rittenhouse is going to school like imagine kyle rittenhouse going to school it 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 was truly unsettling 
because it was like the exact same rhetoric from both sides they're like i can't believe and then so he got to school and then two of his teachers were like they're they're like hey man we know that you're we know that you're spider-man if you need any counseling or whatever and one of the teachers like mysterio is right and, and he's like he's like oh shit fuck like fuck he should just go to um the avengers for counseling yeah well they're all dead i think this is way after i don't know what i don't actually know what happens with the avengers to be honest honestly they're the mcu dead. they all it, got rezzed the MCU, oh yeah, they did. The MCU is kind of stale after after this. I think this is the last big huzzah. Oh, you know, they're they're gonna keep pushing. I mean, they're gonna keep pushing just because it's a big milk milk machine. They're gonna keep on milking that juicy cow teat of all the fucking Marvel juices it can get the license to. There's gonna be some crazy like imagine like there's no real movies anymore. You never notice that we don't get any new movies like, like um, what, what what's a really good movie like? That's Star Wars. Well, I mean, we we got star we got three new Star Wars, but they were all ass, like unbelievably ass, like horrible, like. I thought bad. the last one was kind of cool. With with Palpatine. Yeah, it was kind of cringe because it kind of just destroyed everything that happened in the first movies. They're like, by the way, he was never dead. He's actually here the whole time. He's been doing everything. Yeah, and they're like, remember that guy that was like kind of cool, like the giant Snope dude? And you guys yeah. kind of thought well, he wasn't real. Yeah. And you, also, he wasn't real. And also, there's fifty thousand of them. And they're all clones. And also, Emperor Palpatine is still alive, being pumped alive. And he also has crazy, stupid power. Oh, and mm-hmm. you remember when Anakin sacrificed himself to save his kid? Well, he died for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Remember when the prophecy said he would bring balance to the Force? Psych! Those six movies don't mean anything. Ray yeah. brings balance to the for- Force. And you know what? Finn brings balance to the movies because he's the only black person in all. <laughs> besides you know what? Lando. Finn is the best character. Finn. He's, he's the only cool character. Is he? Kylo Ren had daddy issues. I love the villains in movies. I always want them to be dope as fuck, and he just yeah. wanted to be Darth Vader and was like insecure and having breakdowns. Yeah, Kylo of it. was a little bit of a bitch, and then he killed his dad for like no real for reason. No reason. Yeah. yeah, just like on a bridge, he's like, "I've got to do this." You don't understand. No, it's it wasn't no real reason. It's because fucking what's his name, Harrison Ford. He was yeah. just like. Han He's Solo. like, this is it. I'm not doing another Star Wars movie. <laughs> Kill me in this one, please, God. Well, I mean, that's what that's what Sarah Fisher said, and they did in real life. Well, he actually said that. Wow, that's fucked up. Nah, yeah, that was he actually up. was like, he actually did say like, I'm not doing another Star Wars movie. You know what I love about the movies though? They all have their own identities. Like the first movie identifies as the fourth, right? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. And and that's what I like about math is that letters can identify as numbers, right? So it's like solve for X. It's like, well, this X identifies as, identifies as you know, three over five. But so, you have to figure that out. I'm not just going to tell you. It's not that simple. Yeah, you have to tiptoe around the conversation. You have to catch little tidbits. Did he use them? They. Is is this X? You've got You've got to minus the dick on this side and add it to the other side. Yeah, I Which mean, is, is it pre-op can. or post-op? Does it matter? You have to follow the equation, the operations, PEMDAS. Or some shit. PEMDAS or some... Yeah. My cat's, like, <laughs> biting my toe. Yeah, dude, I haven't taken a math class in so long. Okay, let's continue with the news. So we got some more NFT news. Um, I'm going to probably bring up some of these um, with our guest next week, but Stan Lee came back from the grave to tweet about his nft so stanley really? tweeted yes yes yeah, stanley tweeted yesterday from championing diversity to embracing new tech stan was one one was one step ahead of the curve to honor his inno, inno, innovative spirit stan's first indian hero chakra the invincible debuts in his first own in his own nft digital digital, digital art collection from 7.30, whatever. Do you know what's so sad? Do you know what's so sad? What? 
taking Stanley's <laughs> death and using it as a money grab. Dude, Dolan Dark said, I can't believe Stanley came back from the dead just to promote an NFT. <laughs> this is such a gross trend. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It really, it really is. That's fucked up. This really is sad. Stanley came back from the grave just to pump an NFT. Who has control of that that account? Oh, also some more NFT stuff. So, <clears throat> South Park. Park. I was just watching South Park today. Dude, I love South Park. They have such. I mean, their their takes are so hot, bro. Did you watch the 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 quarantine one or whatever? The COVID special. Yeah, this I is. I saw the first episode. I this think is that's like, still the newest one that's on Hulu. No, well, this is the new new one that came out recently. This is COVID, the return of COVID, and they're all grown up. So, here we go. And <laughs> they talk about some good shit. Denny's Applebee's Max is the premier place in town for people to eat. With NFTs, you can give your customers unique digital goods on the blockchain. Lots of people eat Denny's I love, Applebee's. Can we... And lots of people. Yeah, yeah. I love how fucking fast South Park gets into culture. Dude, no. Like, it's they like, definitely it's like have an AI happens. writing for them, dude. I don't know how they're so quick. Like, as soon as something happens, they're already making obscene jokes about it. Yeah. Like, it's like the next episode that comes out. It's, it is crazy how fast they make whole entire episodes. They write, animate, complete episodes within like a week. It's crazy. Like, like when the teachers first started walking out, their COVID special, as soon as it happened, had the teachers walking out. It's... And then getting the police needed new jobs because everyone hates the cops. You know what I think is actually happening? And, and mark my words on this. I think that South Park is starting these events so that they can release the episode afterwards. You know? They implant someone, and they're like, yeah, teacher strike, let's go. And they're like, they have the episode ready to roll. Think about that. It's an inside job. Yeah. South Park was an inside job. So now now this is, I don't know, which one is this? This is Kenny? No, wait. That's Butters. Says Butters. Oh. Oh, yeah. Adult Butters is explaining um his NFTs, and he's a manager at Denny's. <laughs> NFTs, you can give your customers unique digital goods on the blockchain. Lots of people eat Denny's and Applebee's, and lots of people know about NFTs. You know what this is? People who eat Denny's, Applebee's, and know about NFTs? That's your target audience, <laughs> It's a audience, Denny's baby. and Applebee's and combined. Believe in NFTs, then I believe in NFTs, and then they believe in NFTs, and we make all kinds of fucking money. Hmm. <clears throat> this is uh this is the best part here those this last part of dialogue says you believe in nfts i believe in N nfts and then if we do then they do and then we all make money because that's that's the whole belief right nfts then i believe in nfts and then they believe in nfts and we make all kinds of fucking money that's a pretty goddamn good idea <laughs> dude south park is so freaking quick Oh, here's Butters uh, convincing someone to <laughs> end it with an NFT to buy an NFT, I think. Hey, can you hear me? I'm going to let you in on a little secret. NFTs are going to blow up. You can really <laughs> get in now because they're really the future. Why would I invest in digital good? You can't even do that, stupid. No. No, 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 no. Gone. Just gone. My savings, my house, but I have this little green panda bear on a skateboard. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that good? Yeah, that's great. That's pretty good. <laughs> I love that. You know, I was actually really considering buying my entire family just like $25 NFTs for Christmas. And like printing them all off individually at work, it just like <laughs> having them unwrap a picture of a digital good that I gave them. And I think this guy explains it pretty well. I actually had this idea before I hey saw man, this TikTok. So, uh, hey man, so uh, it's your birthday, and uh, guess what I got you, man? Yo, Check the chat. an image of a monkey with sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> that's an NFT, it. man. It, it, it's worth money. It, it, it's 
it's it's a form of currency. I, I, it's a picture of a monkey. I don't I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> He's so pissed, bro. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. <clears throat> um, let's see, let's see. Um, oh, I guess we can start getting into TikTok because this is a pretty epic TikTok as well. So let's uh let's what play the this baby one. doing? What the baby doing? Dying. Let's press play. Sending prayers, but what happened? It's got a brace on its neck. <laughs> Little Lee was, was taken because of low oxygen. I can't laugh while doing this, so you have to read it. Okay, Lil Wee was taken in because of low oxygen. Just play it. He tested positive for RSV, waiting for him to breathe better on his own. So, so she's doing a TikTok dance. Imagine being a whore while your kid could die. <laughs> Dude, imagine TikTok dancing while your kid's connected to oxygen. <laughs> I mean, what is wrong with this planet? <laughs> Anything for a like, right? Let's watch that again. I hate this. I want to be with you. I want to be with you, babe. I want to be with you. Hey, don't you love me? Don't you love me? Hit that Fortnite dance on that the baby. Poor... <laughs> She's dan default dancing on her baby. This this kid is gonna grow up in a household that's loveless. There's a, that is like loveless household. All right, let's play a game that I found on TikTok called Dog Toy or Sex Toy. <clears throat> I want you to guess with me because I have not seen the end, but I found this game show, and I wanted to go in blind. Hi and welcome to. Dog toy or sex toy with Larry Venturino. What I have inside my suitcase are some toys that may be dog toys or maybe sex toys. And I want you to like and comment on what you think they might be. Maybe you have some experience. There's going to be one that's anal beads that's a dog toy. Today we're going to start with this one. It's orange. So what do you think that is? Phallic legs to it, I guess. That's a sex toy. I I don't know. It now let seems me explain. Like a... You got two chicks on it, right? And it's curved to reach the. I know, but why spot. is it so zigzagged? Usually those now, things I are don't kind of. No, it's for a fantasy of, like, Crook broken dick. dick. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Um. You know, I'm going to say dog toy just because I think that those two things are handles and they grab the ball, you know, and you, and you tug with the dog. Oh, okay, okay. You know? That's smart. So I think these two legs are the handle. Like, he's grabbing, and then the dog would bite this nub. Okay. We'll, we'll find out. Or is it a sex toy? I don't know. It looks pretty fun either way. Tell me what you think. Comment, like, Wait, does he not video, tell me? And let me know if you think this is a dog toy or a sex toy. See you next time. Wait, does he not tell the answer? Do I have to go to the actual comments of this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, dude. I'm not, I'm not about to look up. Well, if people that's are a... gonna tell you what they think. You might find some stuff you don't want if you try to find it yeah, again. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to find that dog toy or sex toy. I'm not gonna look that up. All right, we'll find the answer next time, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, tell me what you now, think. Now, if this guy keeps making more, I'd love to do this every time. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna keep. I'm gonna this keep up with him because that's a fun game. Yeah. But I gotta find the answer to these i'm gonna like scour amazon.com cupids whatever the fuck um let's see here we go we got this guy this guy kind of blew up recently this is this guy's really really lester funny lester wilden so lester wilden so this is lester and he got caught for a no-no that you think you're here to meet a 15 year old boy tonight is that the case yes and i'm sorry i'm sorry you're sorry Okay. Um, if you could just keep your distance from me, if you just want to stand back, I don't want. I don't no, want to get too close I, to you. I, I, I just don't know. I didn't know. I didn't, okay. Okay. I didn't know. Like, he told me he wouldn't tell anybody. Okay. Well. I, I had a feeling that this was a sting okay. operation, and I'm not a child predator. I've never done anything like that. You're not that a child before. predator, but Calm down. Look, look, I'm not a cop. I'm not a cop. I'm not here to do anything to you. <laughs> I'm not here to arrest. Dude, the second she said he's, he's, he's not a cop, he's like. <laughs> 
post it up. I've already seen TikToks making fun of this, but I haven't seen this. This is the original. original. This is the original. I've seen people using the audio. The audio has gone viral just because it's so funny. He's like, yeah, he's like, what? He should have just started running immediately. I'm not a cup. I'm not a cup. (laughs) And he just like goes from complete, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to. Who you say you is? Well, I mean, he probably got PTSD, and he's not going to well, do that again. I, I had a feeling this was a sting okay. operation, and I'm not a child prisoner. Look at I've that haircut. I've never done anything like this okay. before. Okay. Calm down. Look, I'm not a cop. Him. I'm not a cop. I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is the guy from Toy Story. <laughs> the bald dude from Toy Story even sounds like him. You know the bald guy from Toy Story? No, look him up. I want to see. He owns like that big red shack or something. Bald guy toy story. That's Woody. God damn it. Red shirt guy. Red shirt guy toy. Dude. Why are looking it up on YouTube? You should just go to Google. What do you mean? Okay. Like, what are the odds someone's going to make a whole YouTube video about it? Red shirt guy toy story. I'll find it. Dude, there, that's him. Got it. Oh, I remember. Dude, the that's fucking... him. Yeah. That's him. Yes. That is literally him, yeah. Al McHig- McWiggin. That's actually, that's literally him. Dude, I want to find the ad because he sounds like him too. It literally sounds like him. Al McWiggin. Toy Story 2. Um. This is Al from Al's Toy Barn. And I'm still here. Al, I think I'm feeling a deal of hatching right now. Oh, let's see what we got. I'm sorry. See, that's the ad. Yeah. He does sound like him. He does. It literally sounds looks just and like sound him. like him. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's move on to the next one. We have, um. Oh, this girl. She is freaky. Why does she look scary? I mean, she's freaky. So she's talking about um, supplements, I guess. So wouldn't you rather suck on his delicious little candy like negative ion botanical gamma gummy supplements instead of swallowing pills that get lost in the gut? Wouldn't you? No, uh, she makes me completely uneasy. I don't know why her eyes are so open. Her, if any time you can see the whites around someone's pupil, that's a that's a bad sign. We had a we had a vice principal at Reagan Elementary. Straight up dropping the name, okay? No. <laughs> no. That kind of reminds me okay. of this. Well, she wasn't as creepy, but her eyes were like this, you know. Yeah, this isn't like this seems to be like an old lady thing, like the wide eyes, maybe the it's crazy because eyes. She had Botox she's had one. And now she physically can't close her eyes. She's had one too many botanical supplement, I think. So wouldn't you she's fucking wired. Suck on his delicious. Dude, she has, and when I tell you this, she has zero upper lip. No lip. Oh, I didn't notice that. You're bugging Dude, me. Dude, she, her lip, her upper lip is missing. Never seen that. It's little candy-like negative ion botanical. She got the lizard neck going. Instead of swallowing pills. Got the lizard eyes going. Oh, my that God. That was the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Dude, the shrug at the end. Deeply unnerving. The shrug and then her head tilts too. The head tilt. It's like kind of like. It's like it's jittery. Eerie. It's it is eerie. You're right. Let's uh. She's cleanse. hiding something. That girl's got skeletons in her closet. She There's is. There's something a you don't know. Oh, let's watch this. So this is um. It's, you know the Bing Bong shit. Yeah. It's really. I was really really ahead of the curve on the Bing Bongs. I don't know if you know. Yeah. Now it's everywhere. Now, now it's I everywhere. It's kind of been it. hammered into the ground. I've been. I, I mean, listen. I'm, I'm ahead of the curve on any, everything funny. So, this is I think the last nail in the coffin, is the Jonas Brothers, Bing Bonging in the Oval Office. <laughs> Bing Bong. Are you vaccinated? 
Yes, sir. Hey, yo. Who's the president, man? Who's the president? Byron. Who's the president? Byron. What do you want to tell Joe Byron right now? What's up, baby? Take me out the dinner. Uh, do we get it? We got it. There's Joe that Biden. That was cringe. We got it. We, 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 we got it. Did you see the guy that said that? Like, he had an aftermath, and he's like, I want to thank you guys for taking me off the street. He's like, now I'm not homeless because Wait, Joe Byron. Not... The guy that the guy? said this in the really? video. Yeah, he got money from it. Nice. Joe Byron. That guy is so cool. I love that guy. Um, Take me let's... out to dinner, baby. That's all he had to say. What do you want to say to Joe Byron right now? So this is <clears throat> share to save a life. This is what you do if, in the case, God... God forbid you're across the counter and someone's pointing a gun directly at your skull. And this is one of our favorite. Oh, wait, is this the tactical man? Yeah, this is one of our favorite tactical your man. Your favorite bodyguard. Your favorite. Your favorite <laughs> special ops <laughs> military trained professional. He's Here like, he goes. He's tactical Steve Harvey. That's what he looks like. Here we go. It's just a stash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's gonna. Dude, this is. We're assuming he's a shooter. Remember, a lot of guys aren't shooters. Yeah, we're. That's, we're going. This is a killer. Don't move. No, don't save me. If I move, shoot. Ooh. So he's dodging. He's ducking left and right. Yep. Gotta go quick. Okay. You would have to grab the barrel. Now. Now does he know? Now does he know that also a lot of people aren't going to aim at your head? They're just going to aim center mass, like they know is better. <laughs> I wonder if he knows you've got that lungs, bullets you've got per. Heart, you've got spine. <laughs> I wonder. If I wonder I... if he knows that. I wonder if he knows that that modern handguns that are just like medium size carry you at least sixteen or fifteen rounds. <laughs> I wonder if he knows that bullets travel at like three hundred feet per second. No, dude, nine millimeters travel at like like. I think 10 to 1200. Jesus They're Christ. They're fast as fuck. Like this guy. <laughs> this guy dodging his head. Woo. 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 Gotcha. <laughs> he's dodging his head like he's he's trying to block a punch. Yeah, like roll like with boxing. a punch. He, yeah. that, that wasn't even quick enough to avoid a boxer's punch. Did you see the Jake matter. Paul knocking out the dude? Oh, yeah, I saw yeah. This, I saw this one. Did you see the angle of it from behind? Wait, let me there look that up. Yeah, because see the dude like you could see it fly off his face. Like it was a good hit. I know, dude. He he really knocked like two gallons of water off that dude's scalp. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Jake Paul, um, Tyrone Woodley, two. Let me let me let me just watch the knockout. I just want to watch the KO. Um, people are saying it's rigged for some reason. I've been hearing that. Oh, I'm like, how do you? I'm like. You couldn't pay me enough to get hit and almost actually completely knocked unconscious by a punch. That can cause severe brain damage. You couldn't pay me fifty thousand dollars to get a yeah, full-on head if, punch from Jake Paul. And you Jake don't Paul. stage this. You could see it. It's yeah, a good hit. You don't. Yeah, you don't stage getting completely knocked unconscious. Paul is capable of throwing some decent combinations and has done it from time to time. It's like right ball. after the block, too. Oh, my God. Holy Ow. shit. I mean, he is knocked cold. Now, I know you can stage stage fights and, and be like, yeah, you get, you know, usually it's like, yeah, you, you get, you know, you get a knockout in the third round. Knockout in the third round or it's something. It's not like, let's practice how we fake this knockout. But this is like six rounds. They're fighting out, and he completely gets laid out cold. There's no way this was rigged. But that, it looked like a really good fight. I wish I watched it all, but it wasn't streaming like anywhere besides pay-per-view. Pay-per-view, so not to catch the highlights. Um, let's watch a couple more videos, and then... Call it a night. Here we go. This is Mick Dojo. You you love Mick Dojo. So you see this shit? So she's got. She 
seems to have some sort of force field completely built around her. And, and she's kind of fumbling. Now, look. If, <laughs> <laughs> this looks like to be in, like, the Philippines, too. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I want to see one of these people go into UFC. And just, yeah, like, walk, so cool. just walk out there, like, with their force field equipped. And then they just get <laughs> body slammed unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> they get double leg takedown and just like hammer fisted into like oblivion. You know what is this? They're like, hey guys, this girl's a little special. Let's just let's just pretend she has magical powers, okay? Just for her sake, like. Let's I don't, make her feel good. I don't honestly know because it looks legit. Like she's got her gi on. She's got like a belt. That's all you really need to look legit. Um. But yeah, she's like really pushing these people out of her zone. <laughs> Dude, she's got the fucking, <laughs> she's got the safety zone equipped <laughs> from Facebook, from the metaverse. She's got the safety oh, yeah. zone. These people are trying to grope her, and this is what it's going to look like when you try to get groped. You try to come in for the squeeze. Coming in to try to get a real tactile feedback. Dude, wait, have you seen those, like, gloves that they're making for VR where they give you, like, a tactile feedback? Yeah, the like, fucking the Valve Index has it. Yeah, the Valve Index like, has like haptic feedback, and it's on every single finger. Dude, imagine a grope with those things. If it's like, and yeah, you've seen them where they actually will like have these these things on your hand that will forcibly. Like, like if you're gripping like, a pistol, it'll pull your hand back. It'll force you to actually grip, so it feels like you're holding something. And it'll it'll like it'll it'll like push your parts of your fingers, like the pads of your fingers, and like parts of your palm. So that you feel like the weight and the the squishiness of something or the hardness of something. Yeah. Or the plumpness of someone's ass when you grope them in VR world. That's actually so cool though. I wanna it really is that. it really is crazy and it really does just demonstrate the end of the world. So I mean it's cool, but it's really the end of the world as we know it. <clears throat> but Let's see. One more one more TikTok, and I'm going to be honest. I saved this one for last because I was watching this at work, and I was, I, I was dying laughing. I don't know why it's so funny, I, but I just thought it was. So I had to save it, and I had to save it for last. So here we go. We see a guy getting his hair cut. Would you like Johnson & Johnson or Dingus Grease? Um, I'm going to go for Johnson & Johnson. Okay. Nah, never mind, never mind. Let me try Jason Grease. The Dingus Grease? Yeah, the Dingus Grease. Let me try that one. Because it doesn't <laughs> moisturize your scalp. I'm just going to put a little bit on it. Okay. <laughs> Do that feel good? Mm, this is so different, though. What was that? Why is it so weird? <laughs> I can't deal with this video, bro. It just makes me laugh so hard every time. So this guy, this guy, this guy's TikTok channel is he owns this company where he does like hair trim ups and stuff and like fades and stuff. I don't know why it's so awkward, but I just love it. Would you like Johnson and Johnson? Or dingus grease. <laughs> um, what the I'm fuck is dingus grease? <laughs> nah, never mind, never mind. Let me try Jason grease. Never mind, never mind. Let me try that dingus grease. Yeah, just think about it. Well, he thought, well, that's the name of the vaccine. Is this guy going to vaccinate me right now? Yeah, but no, he chose wrong. He got the dingus grease. The dingus grease? Yeah, the dingus grease. The dingus grease. Mm, yeah, good choice. Moisturize your scalp. I'm just. <laughs> why is he so bit. close? Why is he talking so gently and, <laughs> and subtly? Why is, he, so why, weird. why is this camera directly? There's so much happening <laughs> it's in like this video. On his neck. And <laughs> let's look. Like his neck does need some love. Like Jesus. It, it does need a little bit of love. But I mean, if you zoom in that close on anyone's neck, it needs a little bit of love. I guess. So now he's squeezing the juice, the dingus grease. Dingus grease. Uh. <laughs> it does even. <laughs> Mm, this feels so different. Though. It feels different, though. 
that yeah, feel good? That just gave me chills. That makes me so uncomfortable. That feel good. We're going to be pulling more videos from this. I guarantee. This is good. I don't like that. You don't like this, dude? I'm just no. dying laughing. I was like literally dying laughing at work. Like I had to like, I had to like stop what I was doing and like, because it's just so funny. He just puts like a single drop of it. It just like goes down his neck. He doesn't even rub it in. He's like, how's that feel? <laughs> <laughs> Mm, this feels different, though. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel different, though. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well, that's all the uh, content we have for today. So, I mean, if you made it this far, fuck your life. Bing bong. Um, no, oh, also, tubebuddy.com slash afromat. If you have a YouTube channel, just do that, please. I mean, really, honestly, fuck your life. Bing bong. Dude, Nick, spam some bing bongs in the chat. No. Yeah, that meme's really dead. It's yeah, cringe. It it's it's, it's really it's gonna... it's dead. It's cringy. I hate myself for doing it. So, yeah. with that being said, I hate myself. And next time we'll be in the metaverse with a person who knows about NFTs professionally. So maybe we'll get some answers answered. Um, I it shouldn't get that heated. I'm pretty friendly with the dude. Um, I got my questions here that I'm going to ask, so um, um, I, I'm, I'm open to more questions, so DM me on Instagram or tweet me some questions that you want me to ask this professional. Nick? Um, I kind of want to say what we're going to ask him, but if you've prepped him and say he watches this, I don't want him to have prep time. Yeah, I don't want him no. to have premeditated answers. Premeditated murder. That's basically what it is. Um, but I, I'm, I'm trying to make my questions like they're not they're not like rude questions like they're not i'm not gonna be like hey nfts are retarded why aren't they right um my questions are more like i i think um and i want to show them a couple videos of like some of the funnier nfts that we've seen in the past over the years um so um actually let me show you this one real quick i think i actually saved this one i was gonna show this one but i want to show him this because this is what I imagine protecting your NFT looks like. This is the last one. So I don't know if you've seen, have you seen this clip of no. the person. So so this is originally a clip of someone taking a picture of their ride at like Disney World or something. You know how they like snap your picture, and they say you're oh not allowed God. to take and their they picture. Cover it up. They're and like, no, they're no. like no, don't take it. So this is this is what protecting your <laughs> NFT looks like. <laughs> so i want to show him that one just because it's i think it's gonna be funny and um <clears throat> we're gonna have a good time next time um we're gonna get educated on nfts and hopefully by the end of it i'll buy one so we'll see um he does own an nft that is worth twenty one thousand dollars so We'll see. And it's also his Discord profile, and I kind of want to get up my Discord profile to copy it, but I, I thought it would be kind of fucked up. <laughs> That'd be funny, dude. They're like, let me see my Discord picture. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. This has been The Afro Show. Bye.